Oke, okay, so assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the after class talk, October series episode 3, 101 ways. Everyone hear me? Yeah. Okay, so this episode is 101 ways to stay productive during COVID-19. And my name is Nofi, and I'm the, I will be the moderator for today's session. So thank you very much for joining us today. And I would like to welcome our distinguished guest, uh, Manager of International Office, Salkam University, Ibu Indah Fajarwati. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Okay. And then the Assistant Manager of International Mobility, Ibu Lia Marlia. So good afternoon, Mbak Lia. Good afternoon. Nice to meet you, to meet you all. Okay. And then the Assistant Manager of International Student Services, Ibu Mefti Septiani. Hello, Mbak Mefti. Okay. Hello, good And everyone. joining us today, also our guest speaker, Miss Anissa Trisdianti. Hello, everyone. Okay, and our invited students who will share their experience in staying productive during COVID-19. We have Ayuba from Gambia. Hello, everyone. Okay, hello. And Ragid from Indonesia. Hi, guys. Hi, so, and also I would like to welcome all international students. We have students from Yemen. Philippines, Madagascar, Tajikistan, Kazakhstan, Mozambique, Thailand, and Timor Leste. And also our students from Indonesia. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the after class talk. And after class talk is more than a chit chat program. So it will be a place for exchanging culture and sharing experiences as well. So in this program, we will have an open discussion. And you can also freely ask a question to each other in this program. And now I would like to tell you the rule for this event before we continue to the uh, sharing session. Okay, so number one, all participants should turn on the camera during the event. Number two, all participants should turn off the microphone during the speaker's presentation and may turn on the microphone during open discussion session. And then during the open discussion, all participants can ask questions to the guest speakers or to other participants. And for those who want to ask questions directly to the guest speakers or to other participants, kindly use thumbs up icon on a future reaction. And then the participants can drop the question on the chat feature as well. And the last one, there will be a door prize during the event. So guys, you can involve actively in this uh, discussion. All right, so since we are still facing the pandemic, we would like to know how much do you really know about COVID-19 pandemic? So we will have a warming up game first. We have Kahoot games. And there will be a prize for the winner. So please open the web, guys, kahoot.it. Okay, so everyone, please open the web, kahoot.it, and enter the pin. Okay, 363103. Okay, we're still waiting for the players. So everyone, you are invited to join the game. Okay, we have Sansan, -san. we have Fi. Yeah, it is better for you guys to use your real name because there will be a prize for the winner. Indah, I guess, is it Mbak Indah? Okay. Okay. 
Ok. Okay, for you, still in the first place. Okay, next question. How does weather seem to affect the novel coronavirus? Noodle is on fire. Okay, next question. <laughs> Question, how is the coronavirus transmitted? link aja oppo or gopay so nurul you just need to send us your number so in the uh, in, a, in at the end of the session you may contact us and send your number okay so uh, let's continue to the first session everyone so we will hear the students experience to stay productive during covid-19 pandemic so we have ayu bajo barte from gambia 
And he is a student of Telkom University, majoring information system. So please welcome Ayuba. Ayuba Jobarte from Gambia. Okay, hello Ayuba. Hello, how are you, mom? Okay, I'm well. So Ayuba, are you ready Definitely. to share your experience? Definitely, I would love to do that. Okay, so you may start sharing your experience, how you stay productive during COVID-19 pandemic. All right, so should I just go ahead and share my screen now? Yeah, you may. Okay, nice. Can you all see that ugly face? Yes. Nice. So, all right, here we are. I have been looking forward to it, so... Finally, now I'm just gonna give me a second. Let me zoom my screen to 100 and then I will mm -hmm. put it on the full screen, right? Okay. Okay, there it is. Well, first and foremost, my name is Ayuba Jobate, as the chair lady mentioned earlier. I am from Gambia, it's a country in West Africa. Um, pretty much the smallest country, I would say, in the entire um, you know, map of the world. So I'm um, at Telcom now studying. My major is information system. So I've been here since the beginning of this whole COVID-19 thing, and I'm still here. So I did say thank you to Telcom University for providing me a safe heaven where I can still stay and, you know, continue doing my studies and continue carry on with my daily activities as I would definitely would want. So without any further ado, it's Ayuba Jobate. I am um, I was a civil servant before I come to um, Indonesia for studies. So recently I am a student in here. So I am an aspiring entrepreneur. And then I do fitness training too. So Fitness training probably is the reason why I'm choosing to be um, a presenter today to share with you guys how I do and what do I do to, you know, keep myself being productive and also keep my health in check. All right. So let's see how it goes. So as long as keeping oneself productive and healthy is concerned, there are various things that one might need to consider. Right. Obviously, there are always options. If one thing doesn't work for you, another thing might work for you. Right. So, uh, in my case, um, there are a few things here that I mean resonates with how I do to keep myself, you know, productive and also to keep myself healthy. Right. So, food obviously is the key. I mean, when you talk about food, there are so many different kinds of things that comes to your mind. Right, so some of them obviously are healthy, some of them are not. But then uh, most of us, or sometimes we just don't care, or we don't have, you know, the means to have the right one and the good one. And sometimes we just keep on having whatever we have and eat that, which is not helping us. Right, so if you talk of food, then what should, what should come to your mind is a healthy diet. If you want to keep yourself healthy, then you definitely need a healthy diet. Right, so later on, I would I mean say a few things about healthy diet, which you can be able to do and keep yourself healthy. So obviously, food, I love eating, and I make sure I eat good food. And in that that being the case, I hardly go outside to buy food from the restaurants, and so I make sure I do cook my food myself, and then make it the way I want it. Right. So another thing is your daily routine. Daily routines are very very important. Their yeah, significance to one's well-being, you know, um, if you choose right routines that you stick to, obviously it's going to impact your life, right? It's going to impact you positively and it's going to shape you to be the person you always want to be, right? And talking about these routines, there are variants and there are different things that you can be able to do. For example, you can do sports, right, which is definitely good as a routine. You make sure you stick to it. Right. And another thing is to associate, right? although like um, uh, in this COVID-19 situation right now, association um, might be an objective, but right? it doesn't apply in every way. Right? You might not be able to associate people like um, uh, being in contact with them physically, 
but that doesn't still mean that you don't have to associate with people. Um, so at some point, we all have families, all right? And then we all have close relations, we all have friends at some point before this COVID-19. So if you're not able to be with your family, I mean, um, directly or, or, or physically, I mean, you we still have you we still have virtual option to our disposal. Like what we are doing right now, we are all talking to each other here through Zoom, right? Sometimes you can chat on uh, internet, Facebook, WhatsApp, you name them. You can do some video calls. You can you know, but it's important that you associate with people, and then these people are supposed to be people that can help you, you know, relax your mind, you know, help you have, I mean, uh, some constructive conversations about things that you think are important to you and important to them, and, you know, it goes on, right? So socializing, too, is very important about want, you know, being productive. If you socialize with the right people, with the like-minded people that you are, you know, or people that you wish you could be, like people that you think are successful, so you socialize with them, Eventually, I mean, you can learn thing or two from them, which would also save you to be the kind of person you want to be, all right? And then study, of course, plays a very important role to be productive. And um, the truth is, you don't have to be in a university to study, all right? I mean, um, if there is anything this technology era taught us is that, I mean, information, knowledge, it's in everyone's disposal. Your handphone is, I mean, enough to give you everything that you need to study. Learn about new things. It doesn't have to be about books that people wrote before. It doesn't have to be about, you know, something that is that people consider to be a profession, but something that is skills, you know, like you have passion for something, you can study about it. You go on the internet, you, search, you type in the keywords, you know, the right things to search. You're definitely going to find something about it and you can be able to learn. So now that everybody has time, you know, you don't go out a lot. You don't, you know, meet people outside a lot. So the time is, you know, is all you have. So you can be able to study while you stay at home, all right? So another thing also that I want to say to you is about the environment. If you want to be productive, you want to be healthy, you have to consider the kind of environment you live in, all right? Environment plays a very important role in our, I mean, lives daily and, you know, every time. Because if you live in a clean environment, it's 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 it has a high chance of you being healthy. Okay, a clean environment obviously wouldn't have lots of mosquitoes, right? Wouldn't have a chance of having virus and other things that might be, I mean, deadly or you know, severe to your health. To your health, right? So, a friendly environment, on the other hand, it's also very important because a friendly environment is an environment that you feel like you belong. An environment that you feel like you could do things that you want and nobody would be there to question why you're doing this, right? Things, people, I mean, like environment where you can be able to share your mind, yeah, I mean, and people will not think that you are crazy or you are being, you know, something else, right? So productivity, that is the main thing here. To do that, you definitely need to be doing things that add value to your life. You know, like I mentioned before, studies is one of those things, you know, sports, association, all those things are things that can lead to productivity if you do them right and you do them in the right way, all right? So consistency is the key to everything. Like whatever you do, if you don't have a consistency in it, it won't lead you anywhere. But if you want to be good at something, you definitely need to be consistent. Sometimes it is difficult to stick on one thing because of the environment around us. You know, you have friends that are lazy that always want to, you know, invite you out to, you know, for meals, talk, about useless stuff here and there. So those things you want to put aside for us, be consistent into things that you think are adding value to your life, then if you stick to that, eventually they become a part of you. And if they become a part of you, then you know it adds value to your life and it helps you to be productive and as well to be healthy too. Right? So you have options, I mean, to stay productive and healthy, right? So I mean sport is one of the things that you can be able to do to stay productive. Right? It doesn't mean that everyone has to do it, but then if you can, it's definitely good. So in my case, I, 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 am, I am an active sport person. So I do jogging, I do workout, and I do Muay Thai, which is just recently, you know, because I have one of my lecturers who do have a special trainer that comes to the campus here where I live. 
So they used to do the Muay Thai. So I joined them and, you know, try to practice with them, right? So diet control too, if you are somebody who can be able to do sport a lot, then you definitely want to control your diet. And if you talk of diet control, in most cases, when I had people say I'm on diet, I ask them, they say, I don't eat dinner. Or they say, I eat only once a day, which I think it's a very bad idea. Trust me. And you can ask me later and I will explain to you why I say it's a bad idea, right? So, I mean, so uh, you are on diet control. What you need to do, you need to make sure you don't eat, you eat no or less junk food, right? Junk food, you need to go less on those things, right? And then you eat more of home-cooked meals, all right? So less fat consumption, things that has to do with fat, like oil, you know, both and other things, you need to check it. You need to make sure you don't eat lots of that. Because uh, if you keep on eating fat food, they're going to be um, accumulating inside your body and then it will build up so much fat inside you, which might be deadly to you at some point. It's very bad, right? So you eat more of fruits and vegetables. They are very good. They can have good nutrition that will be helping you with your immune system and also, you know, your, your, your health in general, your body, your skin, you know, you name it. By eating more vegetables and fruits, these things can help you stay healthy and also productive because if you're healthy, you know, your blood flow is going well and okay, it's a chance that you can be, you know, productive as well, right? You wouldn't be lazy to just want to sleep and, you know, feeling sick and everything. So productivity in in a sense here, yeah, I mean, um, is doing things that add value to your life, obviously. So you don't want to do things just because of somebody else is doing it. No, everyone has to figure out themselves first. You need to know the kind of person you are, what you want to become, right? What are the things that you could do to help you become somebody you want to be, right? So figure out these things, you know, and then keep doing these things. And if you keep doing these things, one or the other, you are being productive. Because every day you learn a new thing that adds something to you, that helps you get to the place or the person you want to be. All right, so being productive, it's important if you do things that add value to your life. And everyone is supposed to be able to do these things. Because productivity helps you in a great deal. All right, so another option to, sorry, another option to that you have for keeping yourself productive and, you know, healthy is staying happy and, you know, staying positive, happy, you know, all the time. So, you know, be in the company of people that are like-minded, like people that you, you know, for example, if you're an ambitious person, right? You are ambitious, you want to do great things, you want to do big things. You need to be in the company of people that thinks like that. People that would encourage you and not to discourage you, right? But if you are somebody who likes to think big, but you keep being friends with people who doesn't want to do anything in their life, they just want to sit and, you know, eat and that's it. So obviously, at the end of the day, as time goes on, they are going to, like they say, peer influence, right? Peer influence from friends, right? So tell me who your friends is, I tell you who you are. So those things are actually reality. So if you keep in, you know, in touch or in communication or in company with people that are lazy and not like-minded people like yourself, so no matter how successful you want to become in life, the journey is going to be hard for you. It's going to take so longer than you would expect. So it's important if you want to be productive, you need to keep in contact or keep in communication or be in the company of people that think. Mm -hmm. Right. So we move to the next slide here. So a um, uh, healthy man is a happy man. That's obvious, right? You can't be happy if you're not healthy. No matter how much money you have, if you're not healthy, you can't be happy. So, right? So, I mean, things that you can be able to do to be happy and healthy, yeah, here they are. You know, you can choose a sport and uh, activities that you have passion for. Like I said, sports has various things that you can be able to do when it comes to sports. You can do a whole lot of things, jogging, workout, basketball, football, you know, you name them. But in this condition now, with mm -hmm. COVID 19, you definitely need to consider what kind of sport can I do that within put my life in risk and also put my fellow you know, friends and family and other people in this too. So you need to consider those things before you choose the sport that you want to do, right? So obviously, I mean, eat healthy food and have enough rest. No matter how much food you eat, no matter how much food you take care of yourself, if you don't have enough rest in your life, 
become exhausted. And if you're exhausted, your system would fail. Your body system would fail. And if that does, mm -hmm. you become sick again. So that will lead you to have, I mean, a healthy, a good life, right? So you want to you wanna eat food and have enough rest, okay? So stick to what you do and uh, make a habit out of it. And if you have, if you have, if you know what you want, doing what you have passion or you love doing it, and you make a habit out of it. So eventually, you become consistent. And if you become consistent, it becomes part of you. So at some point, if you don't do it, you feel like it's missing. Like, wow, what's going on? I think I'm getting sick. That's because you don't do what you have to do, what you've been doing before, what you've been doing all the time. So consistency comes with, I mean, of a repetitive doing of one thing or the other, making it a habit, and eventually you are consistent and it becomes part of you. Doing it sports, you know, being it ba? studying or any other thing. Sorry for interrupting, Ayuba. Huh? Sorry for interrupting. Maybe could you please uh, closer to the microphone because uh, your voice is not really clear. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, how about now? Okay, it's better now. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. So, so I mean, that was what I was saying about, I mean, being happy. And uh, if you're happy, if you're healthy, rather, you are happy. Because if you're not healthy, you're going to be happy. So you can be happy and you can be healthy by doing sports. I mean, which you can see anyone or any sports that you think you can do that wouldn't put your life in risk and also put the other people's life in risk, that you can just go ahead and do that. Right? You eat good food and have enough rest. No matter how much food you eat, if you don't rest enough, it's going to be helpless. Because at the other day, if you don't rest enough, your body, your system is going to fail at some point. And if that happens, it will have to make you sick again. Right? So also, the last thing which you can do to be able to be happy, healthy, is to you know stick with what you do, you know, make habit out of it. And also, as time goes on, you are consistent with it. You know, it adds value to your life, it becomes part of you, and it helps you in a great deal, right? So in my situation, in my case, right, so this is me, right? I mean, uh, since this COVID-19 begins, uh, came over, like, sometime last year, early April, that was when I realized, I mean, when I thought to myself, I mean, lately nobody is going anywhere. Nobody is able to do things that they have been doing before. Or like um, uh, as a person that, I mean, I know a thing or two about sports because I've been engaging in sports since my childhood time. So I thought, let me, you know, do something out of this situation right now. I could make a channel whereby I could be able to post some workouts which people can be doing even if they stay at home. They don't need to go to the gym. They don't need to go to anywhere which or in a place you would need people to do that particular workouts with, right? So I started my channel back in April. So, I mean, until now, you know, I've been uploading videos almost every week and then it's going, you know, okay. And then I've been having viewers and everything. And I think the purpose has been, you know, fulfilled. People can watch and learn from my videos and do the things that they, that will help them to become, you know, healthy. Right. So if you don't mind, I would just open my 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 uh, channel here. Then I would show you probably a thing or two, right? Okay. Yeah. Let's load it. So bear with me, please. Yeah, maybe I can just hold on a second, maybe. Or oh, is it there? Hello? Hello? Can, can, can that person mute his volume, the one that is having an azan? Yeah. Okay, good. So, right, um, this is my channel, like I said, right? So, so far I've had 1,000 plus subscribers, you know, and then uh, there you go with my videos. 
So um, every week, if I am not too busy with my assignments and things, I used to upload my my videos to YouTube so people could watch. Right. So I obviously do different kinds of workout exercises that from your entire body that you can be able to do. All right. So I mean, there's a particular video, this one here, which I did purposely. I mean, for COVID-19 issue, like uh, I talked and explain about how to maintain physical well-being, right? So maybe I'll just play it, or probably you guys can check it out later. I would, I would um, uh, drop my channel link in the chat, so maybe you guys can all see. But for now, probably you can just listen to this maybe for a few minutes, right? Okay. So, Ayuba, do you still wish to open the YouTube? Yeah, I think it's playing. Are you guys seeing it? Yeah, we cannot. We cannot see anything here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's still your slide. Okay. Then, 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 let me let me re re see again. And I thought you are seeing it on this time. Okay, you can see it now, right? Not, ah, okay. Yeah, so this particular video, I made it about COVID-19, how to stay healthy, like physical health. Someone like me having access to a place that I can do my daily workouts, I can use the jogging tracks for jogging, you know, I can do calisthenics workouts, I can do, I mean, a whole lot of things. And um, sport being a very important part of my life, that definitely plays a very huge role in both my mental and my physical well-being. Times like this, in quarantine, people would have to definitely seek for information, information that you could use to keep yourself safe and also keep your loved ones safe. And um, in looking for or searching for this information, one of the places that we tend to look for this information are the internet. And when you go on the internet, you can have access to all different kinds of information. But then you might also want to consider the source of it and also how credible the information is. So making sure of that, you would definitely want to, I mean, consider WHO, World Health Organization, because they have been the one that is worldwide recommended for taking care of people when it comes to health. Uh, more than 210,000 cases have now been reported to WHO, and more than 9,000 people have lost their lives. Every loss of life is a tragedy. It's also motivation to double down and do everything we can to stop transmission and save lives. Listening to the WHO, you have this information they give out to the general public. It could cause one or two things. It could either cause people to panic, or it could be um, a means for someone to be informed about the actual situation around the world, and which would be a means for you to prepare yourself and also put in, put in place the right measures to protect yourself and your loved ones. So in my case, instead of being um, uh, panicked, I choose to be in control because it's only when you are in a positive mind or like um, a steady state of mind, you can be able to make sound decisions. You can be able to do or make choices that would impact your life positively. Right? So <clears throat> WHO themselves give. So, um, uh, well, probably you might see more of these things just by clicking on my link i'll drop my link in the chat later but i don't think we have much time to watch the whole video but you can do that later all right so but then but then there are more videos about you know workout in general just work out there's no talk like this one because this one is more of like an a sharing and also an advice for people i mean and also myself that are facing the same issue Right, so lots of videos are here about your legs, about your belly, about your you know, arms, 
everything you need to work on, right? This one here, right here, is just about legs, about chest. You have anything that you can be able to do to save your, I mean, to build up your body, to stay in a good shape. You can spend everything here. So um, I was I'm lucky that in my campus where I live, this is just next to my 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 living dorm, right? So I come out to this place here and do all the kind of workouts that I need. I do not need to travel a distance. I don't need to meet people while I go to this place. It's completely safe. So I had this to my disposal. So I thought, why not I just make fix use of it? And also while doing that, I could also help people also to be safe and you know be healthy too. So I share things that I do and people learn from it and then also do them and they benefit from it. Sometimes I get communication, people text me and ask me, how can I do to get this? How can I do to get that? And I share with them as much as I can. So it's all about sharing and all about no matter how much you know, if you can say it's like you still don't know, all right? So basically that's it. And then um, maybe I will just, you know, leave it for, now and probably would we'll just i mean uh say uh, yeah are you back yep so, okay i guess yeah the time is up yep that's it so that's it guys i hope you learn a thing or two from this and if there is anything yet you might want to ask me then you're probably you know you are most welcome and i'll be obliged to answer your questions in us i mean in most best way I can. So thank you all for your for being here and thank you for I mean listening and yeah I'm grateful and I thank you all very much. Okay, thank you very much Ayuba. That's really nice sharing. So I just know that you are active in YouTube, yeah. Okay, so everyone, based on Ayuba's experience, this stay healthy and productive. We need to consume a healthy food live a clean, friendly, and productive environment, and then doing some positive hobbies like sport maybe. And uh, the last one, we uh, should stay happy, yeah? yeah? All right, so everyone, if you want to ask a question to Ayuba, save the question first, or maybe you can drop it in the chat, and we will discuss later because now we will continue to hear from our second speaker. So after that, we will open discussion where you can exchange experience. Okay, so move to our second speaker. Uh, he is Ragid Pramudia from Indonesia. He is Takam University student majoring fine arts and he is going to share with us how he spends his time to stay productive during this pandemic by drawing. So please welcome Ragid from Indonesia. So hi everyone. So Hi. I would like to say Hello. thank you for the committee has invited me to share my experience here during the pandemic. So please, the committee help me to to present my presentation. Okay. So wait a moment. So, okay, everyone, next slide, please. So here, my name is Ragit Pramudia. I was born in Morai Regency in South Sumatra province in April 28, 1999. And now I'm currently final year student at the Fine Art School Creative Industry in Salcom University. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, okay, this is my off achievements in the past. Okay, the first, I was the top 10 in drawing challenge held by Bija Conservation and USAID in Indonesia. And then I was a winner in Barrick STEM competition held by US Embassy in Jakarta. And next, first winner calligraphy competition held by MCQ Telkom University. And then I was a second runner up in Bukit Asam Innovation Award for Non-Organic Waste. And then top 10 finalists in Kelawang Subang Barik Design. And then the last in, as Indonesian representative in 
Asia World Model United Nations Cultural Performance. Next slide, please. Okay, guys, here I will show you all of my artwork in my past competition. At, at the first photo in the left is my artwork in competition that organized by Bija Conservation and use it in Indonesia. So Bija Conservation is an institution managed by the US Embassy in Jakarta, which focus on environmental conservation as well as animals and plants. And the competition was called to celebrate the World Pangolin Day. And the second picture is an artwork, is a competition held by the US Embassy in Jakarta to celebrate the National Barrick Day. So this competition is very unique for me because it provides a gift in the form of an invitation to attend the anniversary of diplomatic relations in Indonesia and the US. Uh, I'm totally very happy to be able to meet the US ambassador for Indonesia and the governor of the Jakarta. And actually this even, uh, this, uh, sorry. So actually this event was held during the, my final semester. So I only had to go to the Jakarta for only one day. And luckily I didn't have any schedule on that day. So next, please, next slide, please. Okay, the first pictures is artwork was made during a calligraphy competition held by MTQ Telkom University. So this competition is very challenging for me because it only four hours to paint this artwork. And the second picture is a competition organized by the Bukit Asam company to celebrate the World Environment Day. I make a product such as a bags, card holders and hats using single use plastic bags. In this competition, I was quite impressive as it because I earn money and trophy. Next slide, please. Okay, the first pictures is my artwork in Barik Design Competition organized by Kelawan Subang in order to promote the regional potential of Subang Regency. And the second pictures is my participation as a representative of Indonesia in Cultural Night at Asia World MUN in Bali. So I paint the pictures of the former president of Indonesia, Mr. Habibi and his wife. And during this time, there were also performances from Mexico, the Philippines, Madagascar, Sri Lanka, India, and Bangladesh. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, guys, here I want to show you my artwork during this pandemic. Uh, okay, this is uh, my pictorial story made in order to participate uh, in competition held by the local waterworks on last March. So the illustration tells of a child making a biopore hole with her mother. But unfortunately, I haven't won this competition yet. Okay, next, sli next slide, please. Uh, okay, this is my, this picture is my painting made in order for my painting studio assignment in last semester. So this painting tells about the myths of Javanese tribe because my problem in life as a Javanese. So this painting were made by acrylic color on canvas. The next slide, please. Uh, okay. This is a painting made by submission from my friend. And the first on the left is an order for the room decoration. And, and the second on the right is an order for my friend's father's birthday. So actually, this is the first time I get a painting submission and get paid, as well as to fill my spare time. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, here are some, some of the illustration that I made. Uh, okay, the first picture on the left is an illustration that I make annually to celebration and aid. And I'm illustrating someone who meets via a video call because of social distancing during the aid for Salatul Rahmi. 
and the second in the middle is an illustration that I made in participating in competition organized by the NGO that focus on peatlands in Indonesia. So this artwork tells a story if a peatland are alive and enjoying Indonesia's Independence Day in peacefully. So I can feel this artwork because I live close to areas of peatlands, which is after burn during the dry season. So in this competition, I also haven't won yet. Okay, the third one on the left is an illustration work that I made by painting using acrylic color on canvas. So I made this painting to participate in a competition held by one of a brand of children's painting tool, even though in the end I haven't succeeded becoming a winner. This artwork tells about the Indonesia's, Indonesia's Independence Day represented by children wearing a traditional clothes from various tribes such as Minangkabau, Dayak, and Papua, Java, and Bugis. And next slide, please. Okay, this is the last one. This artwork was created to participate in UOB painting of the year in this year, which is organized by the UOB Bank in Indonesia. So I made this artwork inspired by the coal mining industries in my hometown, as if the coal is very, very important instrument in supporting to surrounding community. So especially during this pandemic, com the communities and companies work hand in hand in cycling the virus outbreak, which is symbolized by the chains here. And the woods as a frame symbolize as the spirit, spirit of unity that will never fade. So honestly, I just submit this artwork on two days ago. So I hope for blessing to pass to the next round. Uh, okay, guys, next slide. So that's it, my off presentation. I hope you understand what I thought. <laughs> so thank you, guys. Okay, Ragi. So after this, uh, you want to show how to drawing, let's uh, say? Okay, okay, guys. So the committee asked me to to live drawing here. So I just prepare all of the stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, we change into my other account here. Wait, wait. Okay, that's your time. Here, it shows. Can you see my table work here? Not yet. No, no, I, I, I have already opened my camera in another account. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, good. Uh, sorry, for the table is highly so messy. Uh, okay, guys, here I want to show you how I pairing using the acrylic color. This, I using the Indonesia brand called TT by Joyko. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, this this pen is usually find out in your near stationery store. So let's get started. So, uh, okay, here I using a, a old cardboard, use cardboard because because using a paper is kindly so kindly common and boring. So this is yeah, let's enjoy. Uh, okay. I use some several brushes here. Can you see this? Yes. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Okay, guys, let's start with. Wait, where's my pencil? Eh, pencil gimana? Wait, guys. Ah. Wow, this is actually my first time in life drawing in front of all 
many people. Wow, that's great. Yes. Thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> okay, guys, let's make the sketch first. So I want to draw like a few maybe. Uh, okay. Make some sketch. The sketch is, is made from a pencil. You can just get whatever you want to draw. Here, just my, my, my improvement. Okay, enough guys. We can starting to paint off this painting. So actually in this side is like a sky and then in the middle is a mountain and here like a flower field maybe. Okay, go. Mm -hmm. So here I using the color of blue, bright blue for the sky. Maybe we need some a white color. Oh, it's empty. Oh, sorry guys. Ah, we got it some. Ah, we have another product. Okay, enough. We need more darker from another blue color. enough okay for the mountain we need a green color ah. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Okay, enough.
Um, um, okay. Um, okay. So we wait until on the this side dry. We can continue on the other side. So we want to draw the the cloud here on the sky using the white color. Uh -huh. And we want to more darker on the cloud, just put a little bit of black color. Just a little bit. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Wow. And we tap here. Okay, five more minutes, like it. Ah, okay. Okay, enough. And then we we can paint uh, the mountain using the green and black. Here. Yeah. No, more darker.
Okay, I'm gonna add some green color here. And we need some green color here. So, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, for for here we can add the some green color with a little brush, like here. Yes, we we draw a grass. Mm -hmm. mm, right here. Wait, it's not enough. I don't know. Uh, we can add a uh, white color to to draw the flower. Okay, uh, over here. Let's make it a simple. Uh huh. Here, maybe. And put the yellow color at the middle of the flower. Hmm. Mm, we can add some flower like a lavender by using a red color and blue here. Yeah. Just mixing the color red and green to make a purple.
another color like blue. We need more lighter by using the oh wow 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 my screen Uh, we need some detail. Wait. Uh, okay, finish, guys. Wow, this is simple artwork that you can make on your home using a cardboard if you don't have any paper that's suitable for a painting. Wow, that's really, really amazing. Yeah, it's not that's even awesome. simple, actually. You made it simple, but for us, it's quite mm, hard. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, thank you very much, Ragit. That's a very yes, amazing welcome. art. In a short time, you can create a beautiful painting and you made it like effortless. Yeah, oh, that's yes, a very of course. Cool. And yeah, if you don't mind, Ragit, we can, uh, can we have your painting? Maybe okay. we would like to hang your painting in our office, international office. Uh, no problem. Ah, I'm, I'm in great. Bandung. Yes, <laughs> in Bandung. Okay, thank you very much, Rag. Yes, you're welcome. At the uh, the end of the first session, so that's a very interesting sharing from the two students. Yeah, uh, from Ayuba uh, sharing about uh, sport, and then Ragid sharing about uh, how uh, painting can be. Uh, some of ways to stay productive during the COVID-19. <laughs> okay, so everyone... Okay. <laughs> All right. Ah, 15 minutes already. It's already gone. Okay. Uh, Rakit, could you please... Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we will move to open discussion first. Okay, we see here there are uh, questions for you guys. Okay, so participant, if you still want to ask a question for the speaker or for other participants, you may drop the question in the chat box. And here we have four questions. The first question for Ayuba from Mikeas, yeah. What kinds of sociali socializing do you mean, Ayuba? Because we all know that this pandemic bringing us a bit of impact. Some of impact is we have to self distance and self quarantine. So how can we keep the socializing? Okay, Ayuba, you may uh, answer Mikael's question. Yeah, thank you very much, Mikael. That's a very important question. All right, so um, um, I did mention something like that when I was presenting, perhaps it wasn't very detailed, all right? So I know for sure that every one of us is from a family, right? 
Well, so, but for example, if you're not living with your family at this present moment, you might be staying at a place, I don't know exactly, but then for sure there has to be people who you stay at the same house with or like the same building with, right? So socializing, in a sense, you don't have to touch each other, of course, at some point. But then um, uh, let's assume, for example, in my situation right now, I'm living in a student dorm. Okay, a student dorm where international students are living. So in here, can come make so that we don't have guests from outside, right? So it is obvious that since the COVID nineteen started until now, none of us here have even tested positive. They check our temperatures to make sure we are okay, and then if we go outside, we need to, I mean, be in line with the protocols. Right, we have to put on our mask and we, we cannot go out for, on, on certain times. Right, so in my case, yeah, I can get to socialize with my people who I live with here. We are not that too many, of course, but then people we are almost about um, uh, 16 or 15 or so. So sometimes we play games together. All right, we of course we have a badminton court down here, so we play games together, you know, we chit chat together and socialize to free our minds. So in that case, obviously, you are not posing any risk to anyone because it is obvious that we live together and we are all negative of COVID-19 and there has not been any case since then. So in your case, if you are living with your family, right, your mom, your dad, your siblings, it's good to socialize with them. Don't just put yourself indoors and lock yourself up and don't talk to anyone. That won't help you. So that's what I meant by socializing. You can socialize with people who you live with and they are all safe and they are all free of COVID-19. Instead of going outside, but you can do it wherever you are. That's how I meant by socializing. I hope that answers your question, but if not, then maybe you can make, you know, you can say again how exactly you want me to explain to you, right? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Ayuba, for the answer. And next question from Fauzi for Ragit. So I want to ask Ragid, what is your signature or style for your artwork and why you choose that style? Okay, Ragid. So thank you for the questions. So basically, I was driving for my hobby and for the style in my artwork is basically from the gouache style. You can search on the google go watch it's basically that you can draw anything what you want with your paint and like even though the the painting without the sketch first like for my artist reference is the indonesian artist called wasana haikal and many more like rahel ajen okay enough maybe And why? Uh, why you choose those style? So, oh yeah, oh why why I I choose that style because because I like I like the independence because I like I like I like doing everything what I want I like to explore everything with my artwork I like yeah I thought that the gouache is very good choice. Okay. It's, it it's back your patient to explore okay. more mm -hmm. okay i see all right thank you and then next question is from danny for ragid again so did mr ragid ever create a digital artwork and which is the most funny artworks model for mr ragid digital artwork or painting artwork Okay, so the digital digital hour is basically like you should learn about how to make how to use the application itself because I use the Adobe Photoshop for create the digital artwork and it quietly hard but it back to you if you want to learn you could you could use the application by yourself and and see the tutorial on the YouTube. And for the manual drawing, maybe 
it's quite simple you can make the drawing by by something stuff and around you like you can make a drawing by your pen or maybe like some ink or maybe you can draw into with your coffee in in the paper yeah so prefer painting artwork yes. rather than digital uh, artwork so basically uh, i prefer to draw in manually because because yeah very simple you don't need to prepare your laptop your pen tablet or maybe yeah it's it's back to my take it simple okay okay i see so uh next question from mikas to ragit again <laughs> So, Mr. Ragit, digital drawing and conventional draw, yeah, digital drawing and conventional drawing, which is which one is more difficult? How do you inspire it to draw that image? And have any stories beside those images? So, yeah, it means like which one is the more more difficult? conventional drawing or digital drawing and then how do you inspire to draw that image and then do you have any story beside the image so so i thought that the most difficult in both of them is the digital drawing because i am not most professionally using the digital i i actually know the digital in basic and yeah maybe for conventional is very easier to draw for beginner like us like everyone who want to learn the drawing and the story beside those image which image let's say when you create uh, artwork maybe do you have any stories behind behind the image Yes, yeah, sometimes I have a story in my artwork. Like, if I want to take my spare time to draw, it's basically a random thing that I draw. And for my assignment, maybe I take a story inside of my artwork. Like that. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Ragit, for the setting. And now, uh, from Falianda, so for, for Ayuba. I want to ask Ayuba how many days a week you do sports and what is your favorite one? Okay, Ayuba, what is your favorite uh, sport? And then how many days do you sport? Um, well, in my case, I do sports, I mean, uh, probably four days or five days, at least three days a week. But I am to sport like every day. And there are some point also, there are, some, there are some times that I have not even do sports for four days straight. Because I have assignment that I have to do. Right? But then the beautiful part about my training is because I do them even inside my room. You know what I mean? So my favorite ones are push ups. I do like doing push ups and I do love making up workouts too. Up workouts is a challenge for many people because they think it's painful, it's hard. But if you get used to it, it becomes fun, right? The pain is enjoyable because of the pain, there is a resource that you burn a lot of fat in your abdomen, your obliques, and all that. That becomes, you know, helps you to have your six pack or a flat tummy or however you, you can describe it. So, yeah, I do work out like at least three, day, three times or three days a week. But most, if I do more, then it will not be more than five days a week. And push-ups are my best workout training. Yep. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. And yeah, uh, I guess we still have a question, but the time is quite short, so guys. The, the time is limited for open discussion. So uh, we will continue to the next session. Uh, okay. Yeah, 
we will have another door prize for you guys if you want to share the experience to stay productive during the pandemic so participant if you want to uh, get a door prize so you can share your experience how do you stay productive during COVID-19 you may use the thumbs up icon in a feature reaction So everyone, okay. So here I see Falianda. Okay, all right, Falianda. Yeah, the time is yours, Falianda. So uh, please share your experience. How do you stay productive during this pandemic? Okay, guys. Uh, my name is Falianda. Uh, I'm from Tokom University, and my major is informatics. Um, when I when uh, when I stay product product productive in this pandemic, I learn uh, any languages language like English and Korean because I love how I love uh, uh, because uh, I love uh, because uh, I love it and I want to improve my English and I want to know uh, many Korean words yes and i i i i mean sorry um i uh, and i am improve my cooking skill too uh uh yesterday i i cooked the new one uh, the, uh and the name of the this is uh chicken because i love fried chicken so much and yeah and that it and that's my experiences okay that's great falianda so you learn korean language english language and then you learn how to cook yeah uh, yeah that's right okay so falianda annyeonghaseyo falianda annyeonghaseyo because i don't know that one <laughs> okay thank you very very much falianda so you get a hundred thousand rupees again in form Thank of uh, link aja or Ofo or gopay so you just need to send us your number okay okay thank you so guys uh everyone uh, now joining us today miss um, anisa tris dianti so we continue to the yeah to the next session yeah miss anisa Tri, tris dianti will share with us how she stay productive in this pandemic by doing photography. So, but before, let me read her brief profile. All right, so Miss Anissa Trisdianti is also called Miss Flo. And Miss Flo is an official Bandung photographer for Sweet Escape. And then she is also an English instructor at Language Center of Telkom University. So I guess some of you have met Miss Flo before. And then besides, she also a freelancer writer, photographer, and videographer. And she is also a mediocre traveler. She has been visited Australia and showed Asia. So all right, everyone, please welcome Miss Flo. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, okay. just call me Flo for shorter. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. quite weird if yeah. I just say yeah. Anissa is a lot of Anissas is around tell you right yeah which one do you prefer Anissa or Flo I think Flo is better okay <laughs> okay so right Miss, share uh, your experience okay so I think the most favorite one is um lying down than photography say yes if you love lying down like me <laughs> maybe you can raise hand <laughs> Right. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, I have a little things. Yeah. Let's say it's photography. But yeah, I know all of us easy to be a photographer today. We have a smartphone and with a smart camera, of, of course, and easy to be a photographer. But yeah, let me just share a little bit. <clears throat> maybe some of you done it before too. But yeah, maybe just let me share a little bit. All right, there you go. Can you see the screen? Yeah. Okay. I I 
I take I know what you did during quarantine. Uh, actually, this is my favorite uh, movie title. Uh, if you if you know the original title is I know what you did last summer, <laughs> so I changed into I know what you did during quarantine. So mostly we just sleep, lay down, sleep, eat, and repeat maybe for the first time for the first batch of quarantine. Yes. The first yeah the first two weeks we enjoy our freedom. Let's sleep, let's eat, let's order go food, let's enjoy your life and forget that outside is COVID-19 outbreak. Okay, so that's why I take this one. It's a little bit of freedom, but it's like kind of, we enjoy the disease, I think. So there you go, this is me. It's just a, it's a simple thing about me. Okay, maybe your friends or maybe your, I don't know, your acquaintance. Meet me in the Sweet Escape. Book me through Sweet Escape. Maybe we met before. <laughs> or in Language Center. Um, and also maybe maybe we've just pop in the Bandung. I don't know. Yeah. And then I also love a traveler. Didn't finish all Australia and Southeast Asia. Yeah. That's all. <clears throat> okay. This is my question before I continue to the photography thing i need just three people to answer what is your most favorite activity during quarantine learn some language okay learn some languages right any other work quarantine too <laughs> work okay Working. Ooh, yeah i love work <laughs> okay any other any oh, other yeah yeah, any other? Get in yes. Cooking, cooking. Cooking. Well, all become chefs <laughs> and we sell also, yeah. Maybe some of you sell your uh, food. Any Make other? One more, one more. Uh, I hear a song, a sound, sorry. <laughs> just, just reading and sleep. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. Reading, eating, sleep, and repeat. <laughs> okay, right. This one, what I did. Wait, wait, wait. Start a bit. Okay. So I would rather work on something positive and pleasant than be sad during the quarantine. Some of you may be like me for the first time. Yes. Oh, hooray. That's two weeks. I'm not work. I didn't work. I just lay down. But three weeks, four weeks, we are sad. Yeah, some of us just lose uh, contact with family. Even I spend the rest of my Idul Fitri in here, not with my family <laughs> for the first time. But let's say a positive thing. So I try to uh, try to find another thing behind this sad situations. So this one, yeah. So I'll show you a video. It's a video that's just a bit um, about what I did with the virtual photo shoot with some of my friends uh, in Indonesia and outside Indonesia. Yeah, because we use a virtual, you can meet your friend even in Perth, right? <laughs> so yeah, this one. Enjoy, guys. We still see nothing but Flo. Sorry? Sorry? We couldn't see anything. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. How about this? You can see? Okay, wait. Yes. Okay, yes. Wait, wait. Yeah. Can you wait? Okay. Let's go. Can you hear the sound? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Let's go. Ini agak miring, agak miring dikit. Step. Tahan. Masih bagus satu dua tiga. Aku oleng. Mohon maaf oleng. Okay. 
Right. Good. I put put your hand over there. Right, yeah. Okay, one, two, three, go, hold on. Okay, so that's the uh, the highlight for our discussion today from me. So actually, yeah, wait, I'll back to this one again. Yeah, so that's uh, the virtual photo shoot. Before I continue, so maybe one person can give an idea what is the virtual photo shoot based on the video. Any idea? In a word, what's that? No, just continue, yeah? Okay, right. So in a sentence, maybe the virtual photo shoot is actually photo shoot session done remotely using a video call applications. So now you can even do a virtual photo shoot without leaving the comfort zone of your own home. So you just maybe in your bedroom, in your um, living room, or even in the kitchen. And then some of the artists even do it in the, you know, the toilet. <laughs> yeah, but remember, the quality isn't as fine as direct photo shoot. It's only a fun thing. So because why is not uh, the quality is not fine as direct photo shoot? Because you just take a picture, the screen, the screen, not the direct object. So it really depends on your internet connections depend on your camera, your camera, especially your um, your gadget that you use to have a video call with your object. Yeah, what you need, it's very simple. But the one and only is a stable internet connections, of course, because you can't meet everyone and then you will lose some moment if you have unstable internet connections. And also, and then also, prop up your smartphone or camera. I show you my uh, my little camera. So I prop up my uh, my camera with another additional things. Like I put in here a plastic. Why I put in plastic? Because like let's say if we do the direct uh, photo photo shoot, we can put all of property, but on virtual you can't, right? So this is just an additional to make a flare, to make a light leak or anything, to make your pictures more artsy something. Nah. And then another thing you need is the communications. A virtual photo shoot will require you to take on the roles of photographer and also you are a director. Um, oh, uh, you look maybe some of example, Raisa or any uh, actress or actor had done a virtual photo session with Michael Coles. I think in Indonesia, Michael Coles become the first one. Um, they can have a great a photograph because the uh, Michael Coles direct it or direct the session uh, well. So you can't only like, yes, okay, stand up. No, but you just give a very, um, let's say a very detailed uh, direct. You should di directly directly eh, sorry give a detailed direct <clears throat> direction sorry <clears throat> and then um a good risk good resolution camera of the object or model so it's not only your camera for example uh, your webcam or your phone uh, has a good or fine camera um setting but your object has a poor one so it will be um it will be show you a very it's not good uh, uh sorry it's not good of pictures i think because we need a uh, good resolution too but don't worry since this is an art um if i had uh, some of my virtual session my object or my model uh not equipped with a good camera one so i just change into the edit some put and some green or anything so you just play, it's an art, it's okay. But yeah, if you find a good resolution, that will be good. Okay, this one. Um, 
Uh, look, this one, uh, my laptop, actually. So I show you the picture of my laptop. So stop looking and start seeing here. We can look at the same, uh, at same thing. Maybe you can look um, at the same object, but now stop looking and start seeing. I mean, here you can change uh, perceptions or um, you can change the point of view for the same uh, thing. For example, like this girl, maybe you can put scarf, just scarf, but rather than put the scarf, I put it to cover the face. Just, yeah, just find a unique thing, something like that. Yeah, we may look at the same thing, but we see different angles. So I think the main point of the photographer is not the camera, but the eyes, your eyes and your, your angle. You. Uh, because, like I said before, you can look at the same thing, but we see different angle. I think like a painter. Painter also look the same thing. Um, me and Ragit show, for example, a, a, a glass of water. But maybe in photography way, I will do another thing. But Ragit will paint with another thing. So the angle is important and your eyes is important. No matter how your camera is only a... Uh, Phone camera or camera, it's, it doesn't matter. But your eyes is your invest, your great investment, infestation, sorry. <clears throat> um, for the virtual, because you are, you're at home, so you can um, discuss to your, sorry. Okay. You can discuss to your um, client or object or your friend, uh, discuss what kind of thing they have uh, at home. For example, like if they have a pool, if they have a small library, just go outside. Uh, why not? We have an outside uh, pictures um, uh, sessions, a uh, photo session, sorry. In here in the corner, you can see some a little bit blurry that's the effect when I put the plastic. You saw in the first uh, say uh, slide, I put a plastic. So this one. Because whatever um, lens I used, it doesn't effect because you are really far from the object. So you can't even make a, what we call it bokeh, even the F, we, we, setting the, we set the F one point, blah, blah, blah. But it's, it's, it doesn't work. So you should think another way. So that's why I choose the plastic to make a little bit blurry. So, and then move. You can explore your desk or even your kitchen. This is my friend. She is um, a young mother. So yeah, every day uh, she, she does, she, sorry, she work as a pan -S work from home so yeah we explore her desk and her kitchen so maybe yeah let's say maybe your your house has a great kitchen or maybe a simple kitchen can be uh, this one <clears throat> uh the first tip i use the plastic another thing i use the glass of water this one if you realize this is a glass of water guys so i put the glass of water in front of my laptop. So let's say I put it here in front of my laptop. Just imagine this is my uh, glass of water. So I take a picture this one in here. So you can, you will have the blurry uh, side like this. So uh, is, uh, should it always glass of water? No, you can change. You can change into another things. Just be creative. Okay. Or grab a uh, guitar or ukulele or unread book and then go outside. <laughs> Ask your friend. Yeah, I think so. That's why I say to you the communication is key. You should communicate with your object what things that they have in their house. So you just explore your object house or your object place or even do in the car. I, was, I have some of them doing in the car, but yeah. Um, it's not, I'm, I'm not posted here. Uh, or if you, if your cousin of your house have a rooftop, just go up, put on your sunnies, 
grab the chair. Looks, you looks like a, a real model here <laughs> in the middle, and enjoy the sky. <laughs> so easy, I think. Yeah, some of uh, the photographer and some of model enjoy this station because it's just a uh, fun. Nothing uh, formal requirements. You just need to smile and then grab anything around you. So it's very easy. So okay, that's the end. Only that. So yeah, that's I think enough for me. <clears throat> okay, thank you very much, Miss Flo. So that's a really nice sharing. Yeah, nice trip tips, tips and trick how to make a photo shoot virtual photo shoot yeah okay so now we open discussion so guys if you want to ask a question to miss Flo, kindly drop your question in the chat okay so let's see here okay Maybe I invite you to invite you to ask directly to the speaker. We have Hailianda, only one. Anyone, if you want to ask directly to the speaker, you may unmute your microphone or you can use your thumbs up thumbs up icon i'm sorry okay the so waiting for the others so i would like to read the question from the chat but flow mm -hmm. so i want to ask miss anissa do you have any bad experiences when do you when you do virtual photo shoot um so far not, but just maybe based on the experience only like a situation like weather or maybe just um, the internet connection, the bad experience only that. So when I have a unstable internet connection or my object or my model have a bad experience, uh, sorry, bad internet connections, that would be the worst one because we just stop it. We can't do it. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So other other participants, do you still have a question to Miss Flo? I have a question. Can I ask? Okay. Uh, so I'd like to ask, do you have a favorite photographer that has become one of your inspiration? Okay. Um, my favorite photographer actually Arbain Rambe is a your uh, She's a journalist, I think, but also a photographer, but uh, working for uh, Reuters. So yeah, why I love uh, him, because some of uh, the viral or some of the, before before we know, before the word viral is viral, he all, he have, sorry, he has um, portrayed some of viral things, like um, Jembatan, I forgot the bridge in Serang, in education things i forgot so arbain rambe is my favorite yeah thank you miss Flo. yeah okay so other participants if you don't have other question we can continue to the door prize again okay it seems like everyone is satisfied with the miss flow uh sharing so all right uh, we will have another door prize. Miss Flo will explain how to get the door prize actually because Miss Flo will be the judge for this game. Okay, Miss Flo. Okay. okay. Can you tell us how to get the door prize? Okay, let's. Okay. Okay, I think this one. Okay, so let's practice. Um, I need one one volunteer will be the model, and all participant will be the photographer. Prepare your smartphone, cam smartphone or any camera you have. 
Uh, and then maybe not not five volunteer yeah. I point to volunteer. We'll direct the model and take pictures also. And rest of participants only become a photographer. So first, maybe I need one volunteer. Will be the model first. Okay. Who want to be the volunteer? Will who want to be the model? Or <laughs> Mr. Fauzi, are you there, Mr. Fauzi? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I just Mr. Fauji for the model, yeah? Okay. Is it okay? No? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. maybe you can put a little bit uh different background. Nah. Interesting background, anything you want. Okay. So guys, all of you, please prepare a camera. Any camera you have, your phone camera can be. Okay, so uh, everyone. You may turn on the video and but Flo, maybe could you please stop sharing? So yeah. uh, oh maybe after like. after that they need to post yeah How about that post to Instagram story or not? How about that? Yeah, it depends on you actually. So okay. Uh, so yeah, the result should be post on your Instagram story mm -hmm. and mention EO Telkom University. Okay. And then put the hashtag after class and virtual photoshoot. Okay. All right, so maybe could you please stop sharing, um, Flo? Okay. Okay, so everyone, could you please uh, turn on the video and everyone should prepare the camera? Okay. Okay. Flo, right, can... I, will, I will direct first, yeah? I will direct first. Mm -hmm. So maybe another one can um, help me after, that, after this. Okay, can you put your hand you put your hand uh, around the glasses. Fauzi, can you put your hand around the glasses like ah something like that? Okay, right. Guys, ready? Okay. Can you can make a freestyle? I will count on one, two, three. So one first pose, two second pose, three, the third pose. Okay? Ready? <laughs> Okay, first pose, one, okay, two, second pose, the third pose, okay, <laughs> anyone can help me to be a director? Okay, anyone, come on, everyone. Come on, uh... no one what, okay. Everyone, do you want to... To be the director, let's say. Okay. Raihani, maybe, or Kori. Christopher, do you want to try to be the director? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's say I'll direct. You just take a picture, yeah? I'll be your director, okay, if you don't want. Okay. Um, wait. Okay, one, two, three, go. Okay. All right, again. I will count it again, one, two, three. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. Okay, okay. Okay, so Fauzi is a model, yeah. Okay, wait. My battery, I changed the battery. Okay, um, hit again, guys. One, two, three, go. Yeah, yeah. Can you put your hand now? Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay, can you 
Oh, this one. He changed again. Guys, there you go, guys. Our model is... <laughs> it's love being photographed, yeah? Okay. Maybe that's enough, Miss Nafi? Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Mbak Flo. Thank you, yeah. Mr. Fauzi, who is on fire to create the virtual photo shoot. Yeah. Okay. So, as uh, Miss Flo said, that the participants uh, need to post the picture, uh, the, post the picture in Instagram and then mention the EO account, Instagram account. Yes, and then hashtag after class talk. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's all I think for me. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, um, Mbak Flo. And then thank you everyone for joining the virtual photo shoot game. So the winner for the photo shoot game will be announced later through Instagram or WhatsApp group. So uh, you just need to post, uh, to upload the picture on your uh, Instagram and tag for uh, EO Telkom Unif. And then a hashtag after class talk. Okay, so everyone, thank you very much. And, but before we, before uh, we end the session, we would like to remind you to fill out the feedback to get an e-certificate. So, EO staff, could you please help us to share the link of feedback? Okay, so everyone, uh, we remind you to fill out the feedback. We have shared the link for the feedback. And we still have one more episode for the October series, series, which will be held on October 26, that's 27, I'm sorry. So don't forget to register to join the After Class Talk episode four. And now I would like to invite you to take a photo together. So kindly turn on your video. So our buddy and our uh, IO team will help us capture the photo. So put your best smile, everyone. Okay. Who is the director? Iran. Iran? Yeah. Iran, are you ready? Okay, I will. Come. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. If everyone is ready, I'm going to count from three to one, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Three, two, one. Smile. Okay. Uh, one more? Mm -hmm. Okay. This time is from my phone, okay? Okay, everyone. Three, two... One smile. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Iren. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, everyone. So we come uh, we come to the end of the program. Thank you for your attention, and don't forget to join our next uh, episode, which will be held on October twenty seventh. Well, thank you very much and good afternoon. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>
very much everyone for joining us. You may leave the room. Bye everyone, thank you. Hello, Danny. Thank you so much for joining us. You may leave the room. Thank you. Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Satu lagi. Satu lagi, satu lagi. Semangat, 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 semangat. Satu lagi udah belum ada ide. Nanti kan kayak kemarin juga tiba-tiba Senin. Udah udah kayak agent cari-cari orang. Oh, udah pikirin itu aja ya. Kayak kemarin sama Bali ya bilang, Tia, yang... Halo. Zero, Halo. Zero waste itu ya. Halo. Itu akhirnya menemukan si Ragit dari mana? Tidak sengaja. Jadi awalnya malah bukan Ragit, ada uh, mahasiswa Halo. yang suka hiking. Tapi ternyata nggak bisa. bisa si uh, mahasiswa ini teh karena nggak pede sama bahasa Inggrisnya. Terus aku nanya, ada nggak kenalan mahasiswa LU yang di, uh, hobinya menarik gitu untuk di sharing? Ada bu ragi, ada kontaknya nggak ada? Itu aku DM, DM Instagram. DM Instagram. Ada Instagramnya aja. Anaknya baik. Anaknya baik. Aku pas tahu gini-gini, oke bu, saya mau. Terus kayaknya kalau bikin apa ya kelas painting pemula gitu ya, oh. sama dia bahasa yeah. Inggris juga lumayan oh, mungkin painting course sama oh. dosen FI dosen seni rupa siapa sih banyak Kali. tapi oh. yang bahasa Inggris tuh jarang oh, oh, oh yang bahasa Inggrisnya ini enggak sih kayak kayak tadi kalau misalnya apa mayoritasnya anak-anak mah kan kayak tadi si Ra, si Ragi mah enakin ya yeah. ada sen banget gitu yeah. ngejelasinnya cocok. Nah kalau yang zero waste tuh udah itu aja. Daripada liar dunia. Evita itu. Daripada patriotisme yeah. dalam yeah. lingkungan yeah. hidup. Ada. Tapi dia tuh tadi bisa apa ya? Kita tuh bisa ngikutin sebenarnya kalau misalnya disediain kayak. Iya. Yeah. Nah, yeah. kan sebenarnya dia itu kan pakai kertas-kertas adanya ya maksudnya. Terus uh, si alatnya eh, apa? Uh, cat airnya juga cat air yang murah kayaknya apa tadi kata dia mah iya iya merek merek lokal aku biasa pakai Maris kalau aku itu murah dua puluh lima ribu satu tub bisa dipakai banyak kan hmm. ada tinggal terus yang ini aku pasti ini apa namanya kelasnya 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 agak mahal soalnya Uh, apa kuas buat akrilik beda sama iya, yang kuas bulu hewan dia nggak ganti-ganti kuas ya kuas itu satu dicuci di kuas bolu kuas tembok kuas kue karena manteganya ya nya saya beli martabak kuasnya yang itu buat ngeles mentega <tuk> 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 
Hmm. Di sini dah di Bandung anaknya juga. Ya, dua, dua lagi ya, satu kelas, satu ini lagi ya. Kelas satu kelas. Kelas minggu depan kan Selasa? Eh, Selasa. Bukan dua minggu lagi. Eh, kelas itu. Eh, kelas itu. Oh, lagi oh, kan? ya. lagi. Iya, satu lagi. Ya sudah tuh. Yang mau ngebaso ngebaso, yang mau rebahan rebahan, yang mau nginput yang nginput. Yang 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 mau santai, yang mau main. Oh, oh, mau santai. Ayo tuh santai, Ezra. Santai di depan komputer. Aku, aku boleh kasih tahu mereka enggak kalau Ezra tadi dimarahin ibu? Enggak, enggak. Oh, enggak boleh. Kenapa, Ezra? Enggak ada apa-apa. Oh, enggak ada apa-apa. Jangan makan bedak, ya, Ezra. <laughs> Iya, gue mah cuma mau ngemil doang, mau ngemil Nutella. Oh, oh, mau ngemil Nutella. Enak banget, salut. Oh ya, tadi aku juga habis itu lah, habis makan nanti wakar enak banget. Aku buat sendiri loh. Wih, mau dong, mau dong. Mana kirim dong? Kalau cerita mah harus bagi-bagi. Iya. Eh, Ezra jadi pembicara episode selanjutnya ya. Nerangin kereta ya, api. Ya, ya, oke. Okay. Udah loh, sekarang okay. kan lagi ngeliat kereta apinya masih sih. Cuman sekarang tuh lagi serunya tentang kepahlawanan. Tuh, Pak Ustaz. Karena siapa? Siapa sekarang? Ah, sama siapa? Suatu. Sutiyosa. Bukan yang tiga semangka itu. Trisno. Sutiyosa. Iya. Dengerin enggak kan dengerin. Cipto, dos teke sama Ki Haji cuma. Cuma itu mah Cipto, dos teke. Didikan ya. Lihat peristiwa-peristiwa penting hari ini dulu. Oh, jadi pertanyaannya gini. Ibu, Ibu tahu enggak tanggal lahir Siti Hartina? Siapa Siti Hartina? Kita aja enggak tahu siapa Siti Hartina. Kan kelepon. Istrinya Pak Suharto. Oh, oh, baru tahu. Kira tukang Tuh, aku mau dimangatkan, bukan belum mengatkan. Kalau kalau istrinya Soekarno ada berapa? Istrinya Pak Soekarno itu ada sembilan. Oh, oh, yang ketujuh siapa namanya? Coba dihitung dulu. Yang dari yang dari Jepang siapa namanya? Yang ketujuh siapa namanya? Terus siapa lagi? Sukat Mawati, Hatini, Katini Mano. Oh, abis itu siapa lagi? Siapa lagi? Hilda. Oh. Hilda. Siapa? Hilda. Kalau itu yang terakhir. Oh, Hilda itu yang terakhir. Kalau yang orang Jepang, kata hmm. Uji siapa istrinya Pak Soekarno? Hmm. Kalau yang orang Jepang, itu Latna Sari Dewi. Latna Sari Dewi. Latna Sari Dewi. Latna Sari Dewi. Hilda di mana? Hmm. Jepang, Kak. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Tanya, Jangan, kamu yang ketujuh nggak? Oh. Yang ketujuh. Om Rian nungguin tuh yang ketujuh siapa? Yang ketujuh. Ya? Ini yang ditunggu tunggu. Ya siapa? Siapa? Ya, Jawabannya keluar. A. B. Coba Om Rian siapa B. sih? Ayo. Lupa juga. Lupa juga. Lupa juga. Lupa juga. Tahu sembilan aja nggak? Tahu. Bukan lupa nggak tahu. Tapi cuma tahunya yang ketiga aja. Oh. Siapa Cing? Siapa ayo? Siapa Cing ayo? Fatmawati. Niat ya? Nggak boleh gitu. No 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 no. Ya dia nanti tahu jawabannya. Itu aja tuh udah dia usah ambilan tadi Fatmawati dan Fatmawati. Iya benar. Eh aku dapat hadiah kak. Iya, ada bisa di HP ya, Kia. Ting aja ya. Kalau kalau gue kalau gue suka gue suka anak siapa, Cim? Hayo coba. Anaknya. Gurunya. Guru Soekarno. Anak anak laki-laki. Tapi gurunya. Oh, gurunya Soekarno. Oh, oh ini Cero Aminoto. Hmm. Kalau enggak Pak Guru, Bu Guru. Dawes Decker. Dia lagi. Om Sena itu tadi yang jawab. Iya, misalnya dapat tadi ya. Eh, dapat apa? Teh kotak aja. Teh botol, teh botol. Cai, cai. Ya udah, Ezra ngisi ya episode. Kalau anaknya, episode lu ada siapa aja? Eh, mati ini lu rekorni. Enak. Kalau anaknya suka, nada siapa aja? Megawati.